One of the most rewarding experiences a player of Bloodborne gets is the exploration of the city of Yarnum. To replicate that, we've used a variable tile system. At the start of each chapter, the chapter will instruct you to take a number of named tiles, representing the iconic locations around Yarnum, such as the Grand Cathedral or the Tome of Odin, and then add a certain number of random tiles to create a tile deck. These random tiles represent the various alleyways and connecting areas linking the city together. As players explore the map, they'll begin flipping over tiles and connecting them to the previous locations that they've uncovered. When a tile is revealed, it's populated based on the symbols on that tile. It'll show you exactly which items go in which location, which enemies respond on that tile, and where they're located. In addition to this, the chapter itself might tell you specific information about that tile. For example, the Tome of Odin might be a generic tile with just an enemy and an item spawned in most scenarios, but in a specific chapter, it might instead spawn a specific enemy or have specific rules associated with it, as will be outlined by the chapter cards. This single dynamic alone adds a lot of replayability to each chapter, as even though you might be exploring the same location with the same events, just the setup of the map alone can drastically change how you have to approach different situations. Whereas previously, a location might have been unguarded and have easy access, now there are several deadly enemies barring your path between your location and the nearest lantern. And no two games will be alike. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the Tomb of the Gods, carved out below Yardum, should be familiar to every hunter.